Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we continue. Now we have clicked on this profile and we want uh, PHP to show us this particular profile that we have clicked and we have our ID right there. So let's go to our, uh, it's, it's all done for this uh, user.php. So we are going to profile.php and then this is where we are printing out the get variable. So we already know that we need to uh, get our ID from the get variable, which is right here. ID is equal to that. So whatever that ID is, we have to read from the database and actually collect that profile. Okay, so let's try and do that. So let me remove that. We don't need that anymore. And if you notice, if we go down here, there's a variable that is giving us all the data we need for our user. And that one is user data. So what this means is if we replace user data with the data that we want, it means everything will be replaced. Okay, so let's go up here and do something else. Now, what we want to do is create another uh, class that is going to be responsible for collecting uh, the proper data that we want. And we might call that profile, and then we can use get profile as the method, just like we use this check login right here. So in the interest of keeping everything like this, we're going to do the same thing down here. So first of all, we check if the user is logged in and if they are, we get the user data that we want. Okay, so we keep that right there. Now, later we check what profile we want to actually access. So to do that, we're going to say profile is equal to new profile. Okay, now this profile class does not exist yet. I'm simply typing this in advance, but this is non-existent, so we're going to create it. So the same way we've done here, we're going to say profile underscore data. We're simply calling it that. And then we're going to use the same class that we've created. We're going to say is equal to profile. And then we're going to create a method in this profile. And I think we're going to call that method uh, get profile. I think that makes sense. And then we're going to pass in an ID. Since, as we have noticed, it's an ID that we're going to be provided. So it only makes sense to get the ID. Now, where will we find that ID? That ID will reside inside the super get global variable and in the memory location called ID. Something like that. Okay, so we are safe right here. So what we want to do now is to create this class. Okay, so that is very easy to do. Let's go to classes. Actually, we don't need to go there. We can simply create a new file and say PHP. And then we're going to say class uh, profile. Something like that. And save this. We're going to save this in classes and we're going to call it profile.php. Anything you can call it, that's fine. Way, way, way. Is there profile.php that I need to know about in here? Wait a second. I think I might have been tinkering with this previously. So let me see what's actually in here. Ooh, ooh. All right, so I can easily replace this one. No problem. Yes, replace. There we go. Okay. All right, so there we go. We've created a class code profile. And uh, in here, if we go back to uh -oh. what have I done? 
I hope this is in classes and I haven't replaced this profile with PHP. Oh, thank God. All right. So, almost gave me a heart attack there. All right, so make sure you don't replace the profile with PHP that's outside. Uh, where is this? But replace the one that's in classes. Okay, so at this point, I must mention that uh, sometimes it's a good idea to make sure that these file names are different. Maybe you could add uh, class at the beginning of each file. Let's say class underscore profile, just to make sure that you know this one is a class and the other one is different. So this is a poor uh, naming on my part. So uh, you forgive me for that. However, we continue. All right. So in here, we're going to create the method. What method we want is get profile right there because that's what we use. So we're going to say get profile. Uh, as you know, the methods in here are called functions. So let's say function get profile like so. Okay, and that's all we need. So in order to be able to use uh, this one, we need to be able to access the database. So we're going to say db is equal to new we're going to use the database class so we're going to say database like so and then we're going to say db uh, read okay something like that i think that's what it is and then we must pass in a query in there so let's uh, create the query right here and we're going to say query is equal to now, as you know, uh, here, we are passing in an ID. So we have to collect this ID. So the ID will be here. So I'll put something like that, name it ID, so that we can create a query and say select all from users, because that's our table, okay? Select all columns from our table users, where user id because that's the column name is equal to that id right there okay now since we just want one we're going to tell it to limit one so that it stops looking after finding one result now it's a good practice to make sure that you put uh, your variables in commas like that okay and that's it and then once we get this value we're going to return it so we're going to simply say return that okay so that would be the result so the return will be sent into that okay so if this is confusing a little bit what you could do is set this to a variable and just say data is equal to that and then you return the data it's the same thing uh, like that okay but uh, just to keep it simple we can simply say return whatever the result is right there no need for equal sign something like that okay so the class profile is pretty much done it just gets uh, whatever we want from the ID now we can look at the data that we get from here so let me refresh that Uncaught error, class profile not found. So I'm sure by now you know the mistake we have made is that in the auto load we haven't included that class. So let me do sh control shift D and then add profile.php. Oops, okay, there we go. So that error should disappear and there we go. Mm -hmm. So since we have no errors, it means everything went well, but look the data has not changed and that's for a simple reason is that we are still reading in profile here we are still reading from this user data hmm. so what we want to do is we can replace uh, down here we can simply say user data is equal to profile data like that and once we do that whatever is in here will be transferred to that and since user data is what we are reading from down there uh, everything will work as planned or does it
Okay, so let's look at what we are missing right here. Unidentified index profile image on line eight. Hmm. Okay, so it means probably things didn't go well. So what we have to do is put an if statement right here. And we're going to say if, so we must check if this is actually, if it brought something. Now to know if it brought something, we will have to check if it's actually an array. So we're going to say if is array, like so. Okay, push that over there and put open close bracket. So if this is an array, then user data is going to be equal to this array. If not, leave it be. So let's refresh. Still, it's an array, but it doesn't contain profile image. Hmm, that's weird. Let me go back to this. Okay. All right, so the best thing to do here is to check what data did we return. So as usual, I'm going to say print readable, put our data in there so that we can read. And then I'm going to echo some pre tags. So now since we, are, we keep using these pre tags over and over, we can simply create a function that we can simply call, which already has this instead of typing it. But uh, for the sake of simplicity, I think I'll keep it like this. So let's refresh and see. So this is what we got. Hmm. Okay. So now we actually did get the right result, but look at this closely right here. Okay. There's an array that we brought back, but because this array is meant to bring back several records, it has an array inside an array. So there's only one record, which is record zero. So this is an array. And inside that array, there's another array which contains our data. So we must access the first record in the array, which is zero. So this is the mistake we made. So let me go back here. So to rectify that problem, I'm going to say user data is equal to uh, like so profile data zero. So we are looking at that first memory location right there. And that should solve our problem. So let me refresh. And as you can see, uh, things have changed. However, the name hasn't changed. Uh, the posts haven't changed and so on. So let's see what's going on here. So if I click on this one, Definitely. Okay. The name has changed. Oh yeah. So the names are changing. I forgot that uh, there are two users with the same name. Okay. So everything has changed, but the posts haven't changed for this user right here. Okay. So we must fix that. So let me go back to, uh, uh, what's this? The profile dot PHP. Let's go down here. Let's see how the uh, the records are being. So there we go. Collect posts. Hmm. Okay. So post is equal to new post. ID is equal to that. So we are getting the posts for this particular user. Hmm. Okay. So instead of getting the posts for whatever user is logged in, we're going to get the posts in this particular case for uh, the user from the user data. Okay, so we're going to remove that right there. There's no need. Collect friends hmm, and so on. So the ID here, since we're using the same ID to collect posts and collect friends, we're simply going to replace the ID with What's that? Profile data. Like so. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, it's user data. My bad. And user data. Mm, user ID, something like that. So I'm going to copy that again here, though I don't really need to, but 
since it's already set here and it's the same there. So this is a repeat. So this is useless. All right. And let's refresh and see if we get no errors. There we go. All right. So you see, we have friends here. We click there. We have this guy with these friends. We click there. We have that. And then we click there. And there we go. Okay. So everything seems to be working fine. Except. Watch what happens when I type... Uh, an ID here that is weird. Okay, I get this one. So uh, this is cool. All right. So now that we have all this, we're going to talk a little bit about web security in the next topic, because now that we are passing in data, you see in the URL here, anyone can manipulate this value and put in uh, something that is not cool. So this is how you can easily get hacked. Okay, so in the next topic, we're going to look at how to secure your profile or your website from being hacked. Okay, so I will see you in the next video.